Hey guys, in this video I want to do a full uh, comparison of uh, the Note 4 versus the Note 3. Uh, this is running the Android 5.0 Lollipop, Galaxy Note 3, uh, while this one, Note 4, is running uh, KitKat, still running KitKat. So, uh, check the website, Sam Mobile, uh, where we download the firmware. Uh, there is no uh, Lollipop available for the Note 4 at the moment, so you can see that if we go uh, to the settings then uh, about device you can see this is uh, still running Android version 4.4.4 uh, uh, while if we go here into the settings on the Note uh, 3 which is the N9005 uh, Snapdragon variant about device and you can see that this is uh, running the Android version 5.0 of Lollipop. Uh, so basically, I want to compare uh, these uh, two phones in terms of you know their physical, um, you know looks and everything, what has changed and what has not changed, and stuff like that. So uh, you can see that both uh, look very similar in terms of uh, just physical looks. You can see that we have search and then weather widget, and uh, and you can see both have this um, cool effect when we scroll you can have on the Note 4 if we hold on the uh, screen here on both devices you can see we have the same kind of options on the uh, down below you can see wallpaper widgets and home screen settings if we go on the uh, home screen settings on both devices uh, you can see that we have uh, the transition effect option uh, we have two types of transition effects 3D and card stack and then also we have the uh, My Magazine here on the uh, Note 3, uh, while on the Note 4 uh, we have uh, the Flipboard uh, Briefing. Uh, so both are uh, the similar things. So uh, if we close down the uh, multitasking area, of course, you can see that even though that this is running KitKat, this is still uh, this still uh, has uh, the multitask area like a Lollipop. Uh, for example, if we open multiple apps here, contacts, and you can see that if I go to the multitasking area, you can see that uh, this is on the KitKat but still has the 5.0 Lollipop uh, multitasking. So same uh, stuff there, very similar stuff there, you can see that. And uh, both are very fast, very well optimized. So if we go into the app drawer, you can see the uh, same type of rows and columns. And uh, we have the um, menu button here, of course, to do the same kind of options, like here on the Note 4. Uh, we can edit an app quickly and uh, uninstall it or create a folder or create a new page. And then also quickly uh, hold any app and then uh, throw it uh, on the uh, desktop or you can say home page. Uh, so uh, that's uh, very similar. Uh, so, if we go here into the notification center, you can see that uh, this is uh, now a little bit light blue. The theme has been changed uh, according to the lawyer pop. And of course, when the notification appear, uh, a notification appear, they will appear here. Um, and you will have two type of options to you know call or clear uh, if someone calls you, or also you can uh, quickly reply. So basically, notification will appear here, and it will give you two options uh, to do uh, what to do with that notification. And if we uh, click here, you can see that we got a lot of options, uh, quick options there. And similarly, uh, over here we have that same kind of options, and we can quickly edit uh, these options by clicking on this uh, mark or sign. And on the left side, we can see the uh, date and the day. Um, so, and on the bottom, we have the carry information. Uh, so, that is very similar. And if we go uh, to the settings, then you can see the settings on the new Lollipop update uh, on the Note 3 is a lot more better than I've seen on any uh, phone. So, uh, which is very good for those people who are not used to, uh, you know, using smartphones. Uh, so, uh, we have the uh, connection option, a lot of connection option. Now, connection tab contains all the connection options like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, uh, S-Beam, and um, Download Booster, all the stuff. And if you go into the device, you can see we have all the device options. Then controls, we have the, all the control options like S Pen, hands free mode, uh, one handed operation mode, air command, motions, and uh, stuff like that. You can also increase it to sensitivity here. And then if we go uh, to the uh, 
uh, to the general option, you can see we have the general option like clouds, uh, accounts, backup and reset, uh, battery, security, storage. These options that uh, we have are available in the general tab. Now this is very well, uh, you know, classified into their own kind like general options are in general and uh, you know it's very easy to use uh, you know you don't have to waste a lot of time to find an option on the Note 3 with the Lollipop uh, update well here on the Note 4 of course just like on the S5 the settings is uh, not good you can see that we have to find the uh, the thing that you have to do uh, so uh, this is a little bit better like we have tabs at the top well here uh, we can uh, have a view view as uh, tab view uh, we have this type you can see that uh, but this is uh, not well classified like this one uh, so of course we can also edit it we can also uh, view as a list view like I've done that before and you can add a custom uh, things there that you use the most here so while well, this one here is just uh, classified and you can't really uh, edit uh, your uh, stuff here by yourself this is uh, done by Samsung already they have classified everything so this is more easy to use um, so settings wise I'm very uh, satisfied with uh, the Note 3 and you can see that uh, the other stuff is just the same if we check out the messaging app here you can see that Teams theme is changed. You can see the functionality is just the same on both devices. Uh, also, if we go to the context, uh, you can see the top theme has been changed. We've got the same kind of options search and uh, uh, same options. And then also, if we go uh, to the dialer here, you can see that we still have that same kind of options back, and uh, we can call to someone. Uh, click here to the recent. Uh, dialed and uh, with the same kind of option on the top keypad a uh, log and favorites and contacts and then also if we compare uh, the lock screen on both devices you can see that uh, with the same camera option uh, and then also same uh, information is uh, appear will going to appear here if there is no sim it will say and no sim card installed uh, but anyways you can see both are uh, very similar the same uh, with the time a little bit on the left here while well, this is on the center and we have the pedometer information coming up but you can see that if we swipe anywhere the device will be unlocked and you can also uh, check out the camera quickly if you want to so if we go to the camera here let's go to the back camera so you can see that uh, the camera is uh, of course on the new Note uh, 3 LiPo update you can see that camera is not changed so um, if we uh, see the LiPo changing it's not that much of a big change uh, if we talk about the uh, you know overall look wise so it's just the same you can't really tell that you are running a lollipop on the Note 3 uh, from just looking at it you have to go to the settings and then you know just to show you see for yourself that you are running lollipop uh, because uh, from the looks wise it's just the same they have changed a lot of stuff internally uh, not uh, like uh, like theme and everything uh, they have changed stuff internally like battery life these more smooth performance they have fixed some internal lags and stuff like that so definitely it's a worth uh, to install the Lollipop update and um, of course uh, this will going to come to the Note 4 very soon so be sure to subscribe I'll make a video for that uh, we're going to uh, hit it and uh, until then I'll see you in my next video uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section down below. Peace out.